Hey there, West Michigan. Hope you're having a great Friday. I'm meteorologist Michael Barron's. Thanks for watching 13 plus. It has been a cold start to the day across the region, and even as we work our way deeper into the afternoon, it's still going to remain quite cold all day long. We're only going to make it into the teens later today. We will see some sunshine, but it won't be as widely spread across West Michigan as what we saw for yesterday. So Lakeshore, especially if some of those lake effect bands don't expect to see a sunset like this as we head toward tonight. Mike took this photo yesterday with the ice now over the lake. Beautiful view there. They're finally looking more like winter. The ice building in the past several days is the cold temperatures have settled in here, but a lot of this could really start to melt as we head toward next week. Warmer temperatures will return. Here's another view of that ice. This one from Cary and Pentwater ice coming into the channel there again. That ice may not last that long, depending on how things go next week. We got some pretty warm air, especially for early February heading our way. Either way, though, if you take any photos, we always love to share them here at 13 on your side. You can send them to me on social media. Meteorologist Michael Barron's on Facebook and at Mike Barron's WX on Twitter and on Instagram. The temperatures out there today, not surprising, colder than what we had for yesterday. We made it into the 30s yesterday. Now we're close today. 13 weather ball lit up in blue as those cooler temperatures are in view view of that weather ball sponsored by Countryside Greenhouse of Allendale. As of about 840, temperatures were hanging around single digits across the region. Wind chills were still sub zero. The winds had actually calmed down through the morning hours, but will still stay around 5 to 15 most of the day. Some of those gusts up to and above 20. So it's going to make the feels like temperature a factor all day long. While we will spend most of the day with feels like temperatures below the zero mark, we see a brief little reprieve late in the afternoon, but that doesn't last long. It's back to a sub zero into early Saturday, but then we start our warming trend as we head toward the weekend. Temperatures warming up all day long on Saturday. We're going to go from a low of two as we head into the start of the day tomorrow up to a high of 32 by the end of the day. We'll see some isolated snow overnight tonight to the north. Of course, lake effect bands with a temperature only to 14 going to continue to affect your weather as we head through the day today. Speaking of that lake effect, it's a very very narrow band of West Michigan seen it. Most of us not seeing snow, but once you get to 31 into the west and down through Allegan County into northern Van Buren, that's where most of the snow will hang out through the day on Friday, starting to dissipate as we head into Friday afternoon and then really nothing behind it in terms of big widespread snow events. Our weekend here in West Michigan looking to be fairly quiet. The hour by hour forecast here shows the lake effect bands continuing through the noon hour and into the early afternoon before they dissipate. Again, some sunshine coming through as we go throughout the day today into the overnight. We turn mostly cloudy again and then a little burst of snowfall comes this time Holland to the north. The winds shift now coming from the southwest heading into Saturday. That's quickly gone though, and then we'll see a mix of clouds and some sun as we head throughout the day on Saturday, but no snowfall chances after we get past that very early AM shot of snow heading into Sunday. Cloud cover increases else isolated chance for a little bit of wintry mix comes through the region, but this is pretty much non impactful snow stuff. Very light, kind of drizzly, sprinkly kind of a situation that we'll have on Sunday. So I would expect most of the day to be pretty uneventful. And of course, the temperatures, they'll keep warming up as well. Here's a look at snowfall total still to come as we head through today and into early Saturday. Still could see another one to two inches in some of those heavy lake effect bands. I think most of that accumulation going to be in western Allegan County, western and northwestern portions of Van Buren County. Once you get away from that, really not much to see in terms of snowfall. Here's a look at the temperatures for your Friday. We'll be in the teens along the lake shore. Again, if those lake effect snow showers continuing into the early afternoon, we'll be in the low to mid teens for the northern zones. We'll see temperatures that'll hang out around 14 Grand Rapids, 15 in Kalamazoo. Those wind chill advisories go away as we head toward the midday. 13 on your side, 10 day outlook. Temperatures start their rise again on Saturday. We'll go from two early in the day to 32 as we head toward the afternoon. Temperatures keep rising from there. We'll be in the 40s as we head toward next Tuesday and the back half of the forecast mostly staying on the above average side of the temperatures. And it's not just West Michigan dealing with the dangerously cold conditions in other parts of the nation. Temperatures are so low they could set all time records. Friday morning, 50 million Americans were under wind chill alerts. ABC News's Andrea Fujii has the details. 
This morning, millions of Americans from Montana to Maine bracing for a blast of Arctic air so frigid, some places could feel like minus 60 degrees. It is down into the single digits and the wind is going to be howling. Boston declaring a cold emergency. Schools are closed and warming centers are open. Wind chills there expected to plunge to 33 below zero tomorrow. I get my coat on and then my gloves are in my bag and I have my hat and I just bundle up as much as possible. New Hampshire's governor warning residents to take this seriously. At negative 30 degrees, hypothermia can set in in just 10 minutes, and we know it's going to be even colder than that across the entire state. Meanwhile, in the south, warmer temperatures finally on the way after that deadly multi-day ice storm. Hundreds of thousands of power outages still reported late yesterday. Slick roads and the terrain and ice. You know, tree limbs falling out of the trees. Officials in Austin, Texas, now saying they're not sure when power will be fully restored. Just as quickly as the cold came into the northern tier of the country, it will leave by Sunday, with above normal temperatures expected next week. Andrea Fuji, ABC News, New York. Speaking of cold weather back here at home, this time of the year dressing for that weather is certainly crucial, but not everyone has a closet full of the winter gear that they need. There's a group of volunteers working to change that for those that are in need across West Michigan. I've worked downtown for 30 years. I'm around the homeless all the time. So I knew the need. Retired attorney John Teeple says he's seen firsthand the impacts of homelessness. You could see over the years that the, the need of the homeless was getting, the need, there was more and more homeless on the streets, especially women and children. You could just tell every day driving to work that the numbers hanging out in front of the soup kitchens were getting larger. An individual can get a blanket once a year. Um, they can get a pair of boots once a winter. Marge Gavigan runs an outreach center, which gives out donated items to the public. Clothing, of shoes, um, toiletries, uh, bedding, towels, the kinds of things that people need that if you don't have a lot of money, you may not be able to have. Absolutely no fee, everything is free. She shared with John the challenge to provide winter wear. John got to work reaching out to his connections, and some might say, as fate would have it, he found an old family friend who happens to distribute donations to various thrift stores. He said, John, we have no source, secondary source, to send our winter coats and boots. The perfect match. Suddenly, I had a huge supply, potentially, that I could help so many. So I just got on the phone and started calling every homeless center, school, church, community center that I could find. They've been in operation now the last four winters. That is a group of about 30 volunteers. We're not organized. We're not a nonprofit. I haven't formed a nonprofit organization. We're just a middleman moving coats. We have over 60, 65 venues we've been providing, well over 4,000 coats and boots that have been moved in and out just this year. But for some, the need remains. I have a guy who comes in every now and then and even in the winter is generally wearing flip flops. He needs a pair of size 16 shoes. We don't generally get size 16 shoes. Nobody deserves to be homeless. And it, to me, it's a matter of justice. We all deserve what it is important to have in order to live a life. Thanks to our Emily Scarlett for reporting that last story. But finally, on this Friday, let's talk about three things you can do as we head into this weekend. First, Holland on Ice is coming to downtown Holland. Professional ice carvers will be in the downtown area to transform over 10,000 pounds of ice into works of art. Visitors can play frozen games made out of ice, pose for photos with interactive ice sculptures, and walk through the downtown to check them all out. Of course, uh, to check out the 15 ice sculptures on display, you'll need to dress warmly before heading out. The the ice carving begins today at noon. A bit more to the north, the downtown areas of Montague when Whitehall will be busy this weekend for the White Lake Winter Wonderland event. That's today and tomorrow in the downtown areas of both cities. The event is to encourage visitors to visit the many local businesses. Today's events include sledding and a hot toddy tour the, at the area's local breweries and bars. Those attending are also encouraged to dress up according to the theme, and today is Flannel Friday. 
begins at 4 o'clock. And finally, Disney on Ice has skated back into Van Andel Arena. The cast of Disney Prince and Princesses will have shows tonight at 7 and 3 shows throughout the day tomorrow and 3 more on Sunday. Tickets can be bought at DisneyOnIce.com. Now that you're up to date with the weather and some going on around the country and here in West Michigan, you can always find more at 13 yourside.com or by downloading the 13 yourside news and weather apps. For now, reporting for 13 on your side, I'm meteorologist Michael Behrens. Thanks for watching 13 plus.